the Maritime Academy of Asia and the Pacific Strengths, Weaknesses, Opportunities, and Threats Analysis. First, we're going to tackle up the strengths. Number one, MAAP is a world-class maritime academy. The academy uses the course curricula designed by the United States Merchant Marine Academy at Kings Point, New York. Aside from this, the All Japan Siemens Union, the JSU, and the International Mariners Management Association of Japan, or the IMAJ, has partnered with the Academy to build the JSU IMAJ campus facility within the Academy grounds. The Academy's Board of Governors is comprised of representatives from the private sector, the International Transport Workers Federation, the All Japan Siemens Union, the International Mariners Management Association of Japan, the Norwegian Seafarers Union, the International Maritime Employers Committee, the Danish Ship Owners Association, and the Japanese Ship Owners Association. The second strength is MAAP is a specialized school in marine transportation, marine engineering, and marine-related programs. The Academy offers three main programs, the Bachelor of Science in Marine Transportation or the BSMT, the Bachelor of Science in Marine Engineering, the BSMRE, and the Bachelor of Science in Marine Transportation and Engineering, the BSMTE. Number three, the third strength, MAAP offers one of the best facilities in the country. The Academy has the following facilities that are not offered by other maritime schools. The Automation Laboratory, the Chart ECDIS Navigation Room, Drawing Room, Electromechanical System Laboratory, Electrotech Laboratory, Engine Simulator Complex, Global Maritime Distress Safety System, Integrated Bridge System, Liquid Cargo Handling Simulator, Machine Shop, Navigation Simulator Complex, Pneumatics and Hydraulics Laboratory, Refrigeration and Air Conditioning Laboratory, and VTC Engine Control Room. The fourth strength, MAAP has the highest passing rate from 90% to 100 in Philippine government examinations for officer licenses. The Academy is already making a mark as its graduates record the highest passing rate in Philippine government examinations for officer licenses. From 2003 to 2008, for instance, 100 of the Academy's BSMRE students passed the examinations. And the fifth strength, MAAP is ISO 9001 Quality System and PSB QMET certified. To ensure the highest standards of quality, the Academy adheres to a quality standard system that has been certified to comply with ISO 9001 version 2008, the Det Norsk Veritas or the DNV rules for maritime academies, and the Productivity and Standard Board or the PSB of Singapore. Let's tackle the weaknesses. Number one, MAAP is a relatively young maritime institution. It was established last January 14, 1998. Though the Academy is already making a mark as it graduates record the highest passing rate in Philippine government examinations for officer licenses, it is undeniably a very young maritime school to be at the level of more accomplished maritime institutions that are very prominent in the maritime industry today. Number two, MAAP is limited only for marine transportation, marine engineering, and marine-related education. The Academy offers three main programs, the BSMT, the BSMRE, and the BSMTE. The Academy cannot cater those students who are interested with other programs that are not offered by the Academy. Third, MAAP has same academic programs offered by other maritime schools. Almost all of the maritime schools in the Philippines offered BSMT and BSMRE. This entails very tight competition among maritime schools that offer the same academic programs. Number four, MAAP's location is relatively far from the town proper. The academy is located at Kamaya Point, Barangay Alas Asin, Mariveles, Bataan. It is a 45-minute drive from the town proper of Mariveles, Bataan. Because it is a relatively far from the town proper, the accessibility of the academy would be a little difficult. Then number five, MAAP has only one training ship and it is relatively old. The training ship Captain Felix Oka was launched by the NKK Corporation as MS Seiyun Maru on July 1968 at Yokohama, Japan. This is where the theory is put into practice 
by the cadets of the academy, the students of the Amos of Siemens Training Center, and other maritime schools. This 46-year-old training ship is the only training ship that the academy has acquired. Because the training ship is relatively old, there is a possibility that its components inside are already outdated. Next, we have opportunities. First, MAAP may offer academic programs aside from marine-related programs. To accommodate more students, the academy must offer other academic programs that are relevant to maritime industry or other non-maritime academic programs that are significant in global competitive environment. Second, MAAP may acquire a new and more advanced training ship. Because TS Capitan Felix Oka was launched on July 1968, its internal components and parts are relatively old. It is already outdated with other training ships that are new and more advanced. It is the time for the academy to acquire new and more advanced training ships so that the midshipmen will have the actual experience on the latest trends and implementation in the marine engines and vessels. Third, MAAP may explore different technologies that may further improve and enhance its overall operations. The emergence of technologies brought about advancements in the industries. Thus, the academy must implement new technologies in order to improve and enhance its overall operations. For example, most households and persons nowadays are subscribers of internet. Because of the rapid increase of internet access, the academy may implement an online enrollment system so that students can enroll wherever they are as long as there is an internet connection. Fourth, MAAP must periodically update the hardware and software implementations. Development in technology is fast-pacing. In order to catch up with the latest system requirements, the Academy must periodically update its hardware and software implementations so that the Academy will not be left behind in terms of technology implementation. And the fifth is, MAAP may expand its academic operations by establishing extension campuses inside or outside the province. To further cater the needs of the community where MAAP is located, the Academy may plan its expansion inside or outside of Bataan Province by building extension campuses. By this, the Academy will able to reach out to aspiring midshipmen to the comforts of their own towns. And then we have threats. First, MAAP may not be the incoming freshman's first choice for a maritime school. There are 91 maritime institutions in the country, and the Philippines has the most number of maritime institutions established. As a young institution that has yet more to prove, incoming freshmen may choose other maritime school over the academy because other maritime institutions have already made their name and proved their competency through time. Second, other maritime schools are already an institution in marine transportation and engineering. As a young institution that has yet more to prove by already making a mark as its graduates record the highest passing rate in Philippine government examinations, it is undeniably a young maritime school to be at the level of more accomplished maritime institutions that are very prominent in the maritime industry today. Third, the existence of maritime piracy and armed robbery may discourage incoming freshmen to pursue marine-related programs. Maritime piracy and armed robbery is a worldwide issue because these life-threatening incidents are still prevailing nowadays, aspiring midshipmen may be discouraged to take marine-related programs. Fourth, other maritime schools offer the same marine-related academic programs. Almost all of the maritime schools in the Philippines offered BSMT and BSMRE. This entails very tight competition among maritime schools that offer the same academic programs. And number five, other maritime schools offer other academic programs aside from marine-related programs. Because of this, incoming freshmen who are interested with academic programs that are not offered by the academy may be taken care of by other maritime schools with programs that those students are interested in. 